welcome to my channel. To me, obviously, great food and wine is super important. And that is why I want to share some recipes with you of how to bring some glam and gourmet into your camping and van life. If you follow me on Instagram, you may know that I'm now at my mom's house in Sweden and I'm working on my van. And today I've decided to take a break from building the van and go out to the forest and enjoy this lovely weather and have some lunch and wine. Today I will do a two-part episode about pairing Swedish drinks and Swedish foods. This first episode will be about this dry white wine from the southernmost tip of Sweden. Next week's episode will be about this ice cider, so don't forget to subscribe to never miss an episode. In only two decades, wine production in Sweden has gone from being a super niche hobby into being commercialized both domestically and internationally. Honestly, I had no clue that there was wine in Sweden up until just a few months ago. So when I came here, I decided that I just needed to try some dry Swedish wine. And the most planted grape is this Solaris grape. Solaris stems from a crossing between the mother grape Mertzling, which is also a crossing between Sevillar 5276 and this anonymous grape that is also a crossing between Riesling and Pinot Gris. And the father grape of Solaris is GM 6493, which is a crossing between Zaria Severa and Muscat Ottonet. But you don't need to know all that stuff. All you need to know is that it ripens early, so it doesn't need as much sun and heat as would other grapes. And it's very resistant to diseases such as fungi and mildew. And both of these traits are very important if you want to make good wine in Sweden because our summers are quite cool and humid. And this wine is super fresh and mineral and you can really taste those saline winds from the Baltic Sea as the vineyard is located right next to the Baltic Sea. And it has fruity notes of yellow apple and pineapple and even some gooseberry. And a fresh wine like this would fit perfectly with something that comes from the sea, such as fatty fish or seafood. So to go with this wine, I've decided to make some savory waffles. Um, my stepdad actually has a waffle iron that goes into the campfire. So it's a camping food and it's also extremely Swedish. So to do that, I need to do some preparations. So let's get started. First thing I need to do is to prepare the waffle batter. And I know that it's about the easiest thing you could ever make, but I've decided to get this pre-made uh, waffle batter preparation because when you're camping, you don't always have the resources to make everything from scratch. So this is an easier way to make super uh, crunchy and delicious waffles. That is all the prepping I need for these waffles, so let's just pack everything up and go to the forest.
Okay guys, this could not be any easier. You just take some sour cream and some lump fish roe to get that salinity and the marine touch that we want to go with the wine. Some chopped up red onion. You top it off with some dill. Just a few drops of lemon juice. And voila, here you have it. A delicious crispy waffle with some lumpfish roe and this really fresh and mineral wine. Bon appétit!